what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the bite of beat down here at Michael on this Tuesday morning. Taco Tuesday, if you will. I have a topic for discussion or uh, just something to demonstrate, something I want to talk about. Uh, I don't know the word, you figure it out. Um, there's a, you know, there's a, a stigma, I guess you could say, about working out at home. And uh, considering the safety of bench pressing, a lot of people like myself work out at home and we don't have people to spot us. And a lot of us don't have safety arms on our workout equipment, spotter arms, safety arms. A lot of us don't have those either. And even if you do have those, sometimes they don't set up properly. Sometimes they're not in the right spot. So they almost don't even work. Um, so what we're going to talk about is safety and ditching your weight, having to make emergency uh, actions, you know, at the drop of a hat uh, when you're working out, when you're bench pressing. Uh, bench pressing is by far the most dangerous movement you're going to do when you're in the gym. Uh, no question about it. It's the most dangerous as far as getting stuck under the weight. It's the most dangerous as far as hurting your body, shoulders, and such. It's just a dangerous movement. That don't mean that you should stay away from it. It means you need to have some knowledge about it. You need to train smart. You need to know your body, your limits. You need to feel comfortable and know what you're doing. Um, so uh, I have a buddy that I'm subscribed to on YouTube. Uh, his name is Trey Engel, and he's a, a home lifter like myself. And I've seen him have to ditch the weight a couple of times. And I'm always amazed at how he does it, how smoothly he does it, the transition, the quickness in which uh, he executes the movement. Uh, it's uh, it's amazing to watch, actually. It's a skill and an art all in, it, all in and of itself, if that's the correct word. Uh, so the video that you're watching here is Trey doing, I believe, 400 pounds, 405. Uh, and the way that he gets out of this, you know, lift is mind-blowing. It's quick. It's explosive. There's no thinking. It's just reaction. It's because he's done this, you know, many times in his life and he's experienced it having to do that. And uh, touching on that subject, uh, I may have been lifting longer than Trey. I really don't know. But I'm not accustomed to having to ditch weight. I've only done it one time and that was many years ago uh, with 225 pounds. Now 225 pounds shouldn't be much anything for anybody, especially you know, kind of bigger guys, but it, it was, and it was a surprise, and it happened like that. I've never had it happen before, so it wasn't that pleasant. I didn't know what to do at the moment, and uh, so it was a struggle getting the weight down and getting it off of me, and I don't know. I don't remember if the weight tipped or, or what have you. I'm sure it probably tipped. I don't remember. It's been a long time, but uh, we're just going to kind of go over kind of kind of a practice here oh, with no weight. So we're just gonna use the bar. So uh, let's kind of get an example and see what we're doing. Because if you watch Trey, you see how smoothly and quickly he does that heavy weight. With confidence, no hesitation, it's just boom. So, you're coming up, you come down, and you hit, and you can tell by the time you come down, about right here, you know pretty much if you're going to make that lift. If you feel confident and secure enough, or if you don't. And then by the time you get here, it's too late. So you're going to go from here to here and go, uh, and that's about where you're gonna get it. So in this 
situation, you got this much time to figure out what you're going to do. Now you can either let that weight come down here and struggle. You can let the weight roll up here and pin you against the seat in your neck and kill you. Or you can do what Trey does and come down and get that. Ugh. I can't even do it with the bar. I can't even do it that quick with the bar. <laughs> That's amazing how fast he does that. So, come up, come down, go up. I mean, that's, that's some quick reaction with a heavy weight because you're, you're still putting a lot of pressure on your body, on your torso, on your stomach and all that to get it here. And you're also putting a lot of stress on your shoulders by having to do that roll. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this video is basically just going over the mechanics of it and trying to figure it out. Um, you don't wanna figure it out when it's too late. You know, like I did with that 225, you know, I never experienced it before, so it was new and I didn't know what I was doing. And, uh, you know, you don't want to be surprised. So, get set, come up, come down, get. That's, that's one thing with an empty bar, but when you have 300, 350, 400 pounds, that's a whole nother ball game because you might have it here. You might have got lucky enough to get it here. Now you got to get up from here. So now you got to have the strength to be able to grab this bar and try to get up with that kind of weight and sit it down. All this in a safe, <clears throat> all this with, you know, doing it safely too, you know? You can't just throw things around here in that kind of weight. That's a very awkward uh, situation to put yourself in. So uh, anyone that knows how to do it as uh, smoothly as Trey does, you got to give him props for that and give anyone props for that if they know how to do it that smooth uh, with that kind of weight, uh, with any kind of weight. Uh, the bar itself is uh, awkward enough. So I assume, you know, my, my thinking is you want to get that done as quickly as possible because you're wearing yourself out real quick with that kind of weight. So you don't want to sit here and screw around trying to work that weight down and then get here and take too long to try to stand up because you're going to be kind of wearing yourself out. Probably just try to stand up as best you can and lower it down. So. I, assume, I think that's probably what you want to do, just try and get up as quick as you can while making sure you got it under control and lower it down safely. 
Make sure you do it safely. That's why you do deadlifts, bent rows, and such like that, uh, even heavy shrugs. That way you're used to moving that kind of weight in these positions. And uh, you know how to move it safely. Tell you what we'll do. Let's put a 45 on. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna use my little springs here. Just in case, I don't want them to fall off. I want everybody to go to Trey's, uh, go to Trey's uh, YouTube channel and watch his videos, uh, subscribe to him, to his channel, because he does some really great lifts and he's on a mission. Uh, he's gonna be competing again. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he's going to be competing again. So, support Trey Engel. He's an awesome lifter. No showboating, no nothing. He just gets in there, does his lifts, and he's done. So, so we got 135, 45, 45, 45. And we're going to simulate. I didn't want to have to show my superhuman strength like that, but I had to. So even with 135, it's a tricky situation to uh, get yourself into and out of. So I just kind of wanted to touch base on this whole, uh, you shouldn't do that at home, you need a spotter, you need your safety arms, you need this, you need that. Uh, you're right, we do. We do need it. But at the same time, we also have an argument of we don't have it. So sometimes in order to get the job done, you got to kind of go on out there and free freestyle it, kind of whatever the word is I'm looking for. You got to just take a chance sometimes with some of these things that you do and hope that you're trained well enough uh, to handle situations like that. So, you know, hey, please, again, go over and, and watch Trey's videos. Let him know I sent you over there, the body beat down. Let him know I sent you over there. He's a good guy. And uh, I asked permission to use his video as a demonstration, and uh, he was kind enough to let me do that. This is something I've just been kind of wanting to touch on and talk about because not only uh, because I get comments like that sometimes, you need a spotter, you need your safety arms, blah, 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 you're gonna kill yourself. But I've also been fascinated, intrigued, if you will, by the people who know how to get out of those situations correctly. So uh, that's something that I wanna kinda practice on, like we just seen, I'm gonna practice periodically and just make sure I can get that quick movement to go from here down to my waist quickly. If you get it there, you're pretty good to go. At least you know you're not going to die. Because the big thing with bench pressing is you don't want that bar to get stuck on you. Okay? You don't want it stuck. Okay? There's been people that have died from the bar coming down and crushing their throat or crushing their ribs. It has happened. So it, it is a good concern that some people have out there, and it is also a concern of us at lift. So we're not stupid. Um... We just, we know that there's risks, risks involved and there's risks in everything that you do every day. 
So uh, we don't let that stop us, and you shouldn't let it stop you either. You just have to train smart, know your body, know your limitations, practice things like this, and uh, be prepared for the worst to happen. So in hopes that you never have to uh, get out of the worst like that, but be prepared. And I want to make sure I'm prepared. So I'm going to start practicing that a little bit. So anyway, guys, I hope you appreciate the video. A little uh, different kind of video for me to throw out there. And everybody be safe. Uh, have a good time. Work out. Don't forget to have fun while you're working out. Cut up and enjoy your workout. All right? And uh, please, again, go over and like, share, subscribe, and comment over on Trey's videos. He's awesome. And please, while you're at it, like, share, subscribe, comment to The Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your crazy host. And uh, don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it.